Yo, what's up everyone? It's Mark Fireball here. And guys, we are playing GTA. This is my first ever GTA video. But, like, I play this all the time. But this is the first time I've ever made a video on this. So, we are be we're going to be doing the Diamond Casino Heist. This is only the setup. So, yeah. So, okay. I've done this before. I've done the Big Con, which was the first one I did. Then I just did Aggressive. I'm going to do uh, Silent and Sneaky with you guys. And, yeah. So... What I've done already, uh, this one called the scope out, you just go to the casino, scope it out. Down here is all the areas, there's the main door, side doors, sewer tunnel, and all the cellar stuff. And then another one I did was this one here, which all you did was you went to a guy, killed him, or hacked into his phone and everything. Uh, then you went to the casino and you try to find signal you have to like go on your phone and there's an app at the bottom right corner and just like when the thing starts to get louder or If you look at bottom right corner, there'll be a bar when it gets like uh, Bigger it means you're getting closer and then you could look around and you figure out what you're going after so the last one is gold and that's what we're going to be going after and yeah, so let's click this Reaper's got a creep. Let's go. All right, cool. The approach, this is the prep work we got to consider. The more homework you do now, the more options you'll have when it comes to the heist. Then there's your support crew. Same deal as before. Pick a driver, hacker, and a gunman. Maybe try to mix up your choices from last time. See what your new picks bring to the table. And the bottom line. Okay, so first of all, hacker. I recommend... Ooh, who was it? I recommend her because the more, um, the better hacker you have, the more time you have in the, um, like the vault. So I'm going to pick her. Okay, Paige. Expert. Or get, in my opinion, choice. get the best. Then driver. Ooh. This one. I don't know what I should get. Oh, this is for getaway vehicles, so I say let's get poor. Well, never the best. Probably a good thing he's no longer a wheel man. Still, he should be able to source us some getaway vehicles. Then for gunmen, I'm going to go with expert. So I recommend going with expert. Mr. The gun. <laughs> yeah. Choice. Now I'm going to start with. Uh, the hacking device and if you guys have any flying vehicles like I have the oppressor mark 2 this will be very useful So if you guys want to know how to do the Diamond Casino Heist, all you need is a arcade and Alright, back to what I was saying. So you can get a um uh arcade, I think is Maze Bank foreclosure. Okay, so we're here. Tell where the guy is straight away. He's right there. Oh well, that doesn't really matter. Oh no, this is not him. Oh, oh this is him. Oh crap! I need to search him. Then we're just going to lose the cops right here. So, yeah, you can get 
let me show you where you can get the arcade. If you're right here, you can go to Money and Services, Maze Bank Foreclosure, Enter Site, all the way up here. This is the one I have. This is the cheapest one. Then you have, you have one right here. And there's a few in the city. If you have like a good amount of money already, I recommend doing the one in the city because most of the missions are in the city. And yeah. So now since we lost the cops. All right, so we are here. And we have to go on the, over here. No, oh, missed the door. Right here. We're going to attempt to be sneaky with this. Probably won't happen, but <laughs> we're going to try. So let's get silent stuff. Now the device you're looking for should be close. It'll be a small device, likely stored in a boring metal case. You know, it's the government. They're not exactly fruit computers. Do I think silent? Nah. Minigun. Okay, cool. We're gonna go stone hatchet to melee. So first oh, please don't see me. Where's that camera? Try and be as sneaky as possible. It's uh, dead quiet oh. down there. Just a few guards and a load of security cameras. See this as practice for the main event. And try not to get spotted. Oh crap. Please don't see the dead body. Crap, okay. Um Crap, they saw. Alright. Alright. Time for plan B. Killing everyone. Where? Where is I getting shot from? Maybe shot from behind. Okay, I wanna hide before I get shot again. There we go. I don't really need the stone hatch anymore. Alright, well, I guess some heat was to be expected. Lose the G men and head back to the arcade. You know, some might say breaking into the uh, there we go. So once you guys get the um, hacking device, all you have to do is deliver it back to your arcade. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we just got the hacking device. Now, what should we do next? Getaway vehicles. So I recommend um, this is actually completely up to you guys. I I used these ones last time, and I like them. I might try out these ones this time. Nah, I'm going to do this one again. When we hit the casino, you want to get out of there quick, right? Good, because your getaway vehicles are competing in a drag race at the airstrip right All right, now. here we go. Get over there, interrupt the race, and land your new set of wheels. 
Okay, so here we go. Ah, crap. Okay. You can't wait for them to finish the race and drive back Dang to the starting it. area, but that could take some time. Alter wait, are they restarting? Oh, they are. That took almost no time. Sick. Oh, that might kill me. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm gonna take this car first. Cool, so the other one is going to be is going to start driving. Which is okay. I can probably grab it once I get this one back. Yeah, so right now I'm doing these by myself. You can do it with a person if you want to. But I'm just going to do it by myself. For the next part, I might have another person. I don't know yet. That's just if my friends are available or not. Okay, so let's see. Where is it? Is on the airfield. All right. So cool. It's still going back and forth. Okay, so we're back here now. I'm going to wait for. Oh, what is this guy doing? Uh huh. I want to see what. Where is this guy going? Huh. Okay, so this side is just going back and forth. So what we're going to do? We're going to just get out right here. I'm going to kill these motorcyclers. With my favorite gun, the minigun. But, so first, actually, we should really kill everyone who's shooting us first. Actually, this is a bad gun to do that. Where am I being shot from? Oh. Anywhere else? Ah, oh, motorcycles are still after me. Crap. Okay, so gonna wait for this guy to come back, and I'm just gonna. Light him up. Actually, we might want to. Shit, my motorcycles are coming. There you go. Now, since we got the car, this should be. Pretty easy from here. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm being shot from a player. See, now guys, I hate it when people do this. Don't go after other ki people while they're doing missions. It's just not nice. And I hate people that do that. So now, we're going to probably have to switch lobbies. 
because these guys are going to be coming after me the entire time. Okay, cool, we completed the mission. So that one is very simple and it will go quicker if you have two people with, or one other person with you, so you can both grab the cars. And it would probably be a little easier if you have three people, like, like two of them could be driving and one person could be an oppressor, giving air support, or anything like that. And yeah, so I'm going to check something real quick. This guy right here, he's just waiting for me. And if this guy turns in, his friends are going to be waiting for him. His friends are going to be helping. No, he's going over the here. Oh, no. Yep, they are all just here. So now there's the cars. If we go over here, oh. Who's this? Um, okay, M maybe a glitch, I don't know, but that is weird, let's go do our next thing, so rifle loadouts, so let's see, we can go with the simple or we could go golden, oh wait no, it's a little different. So this, uh, we're doing this one. No, yeah, we're going. Sh no, wait, no, this is a shotgun loadout. I'm not. I like the golden, but I'm more going for a rifle loadout. So we're going to do this one. You want some weapons that won't lead back to you? I got you some weapons that won't lead back to you. Noose found them on a raid on some doomsday preppers. I'm sending you live locations for all the noose fans in the field. You gotta find them, identify the one with the weapons in it, and bring the guns back here. Your gunman will stash the unmarked weapons at the casino for you. They'll likely be dropped in the laundry room or waste disposal. And you might want to remember this on the heist. Otherwise, you'll be down to just a pistol. Okay, so... This is it here. Use explosives. Okay, cool. Oh, we got it. And it's right next to the thing. Cool. So, this here, this is just chance. We did not... It's kind of, uh... We got really lucky with this. Usually, you get it on the third time or anything like that. Ah. This is going to be a little hard. We have to get the cops off us. I think there's a way to get out over here. No. And one part, guys, you cannot call Lester on this. This is not one of the missions. It's not like you can call Lester, get the cops off you. I wish it was like that. But it's really not. So actually, idea. I'm going to follow the train track until we hit a tunnel. So the cop cars won't come after me and the helicopter won't be able to see me. So let's just follow the tracks. Oh, but there's a train. Uh-oh. Um, I gotta be very careful about this. Okay, there we go. Now the cop cars, they just got, crap, cops just got on the track, which is okay, they're going to get out of the vehicle, oh, they just got back in, for, for, this is what we're going to do, we're going to throw down a mine right there, just go over it, and when the car comes down, they should just blow up, well, even if they, if they do come down, looks like they're not, so this should start to get better because the helicopter still... Oh, the helicopter went in a different direction. Okay. Interesting. 
Did not see that coming. I'm going to just hang out right here. Oh, somehow the cops saw me again. So, it's all good. I don't really care. If we can get to the tunnel, it should be a lot good. Helicopters won't be able to see us. And all you have to do is hang out here and hope that train does not come. Actually, that just worried me for a second. I might be... Nah, I should be able to get out of this. And there we go, and the cops are off us. And I'm just going to get on the road. Oh, wait. Oh, right on time, a train came. See, good thing I did that. And here we go. That was pretty simple. Okay, this guy is still here. That is weird. So yeah, guys, this is what I wear all the time. I like to wear it. But I'm going to change into... Let's do my purple Tron I also have the white one but I like the purple one a lot more so let's see what should we do let's go after let's go after Duggan shipments now these ones are very simple it's definitely better if you have two people for this one but you can do it with one person this is really good if you have a oppressor Oppressors are amazing for this. So you'll get a bunch of targets, and what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go after these targets and destroy them, and it will weaken the security, which is really useful for this. So there's one right here. So it's very simple. They're just a one shot. Uh, the trees might block it. Nope. Bam. And he's dead. Now, the next one we're going to go after is the one right over here. Now, if you're doing one person, you might have to go a little quicker because, well, you have one person. You have to go almost all around the map with one guy. So, yeah, this is definitely better if you have a oppressor or any type of flying vehicle with missiles on it. Shoot that, and he's gone. Next one we're going to be going for is this one. So some of them will be in helicopters, like this one right here. And they will have some support. So completely up to you, you can destroy them or not. I am going to avoid them and just go for the main target. Now since he's gone. So guys, there's a lot of things you can do that you don't have to do. Like this, this is an optional one. But I think it helps a lot and you should do it. So it might take more time. So if you're kind of in a rush, sure, you don't have to. But I really recommend it. Right, here's the next one. And there we go. Where's the next closest one? We're going to go 
This one's a little farther away, but I would like to clear this entire side. So we're going to be going after this one over here. Where is it? Here it is. Bam. And it's gone. Now where's the next closest one? Next closest one is this one, right? Actually, I'm going to go down the highway and go for the one straight ahead. And bam. That should be done. Oh yeah, baby. We're really weakening their position. We only have four left with about four minutes, so... I think we'll be able to do this. We're doing pretty good. This might be cutting it close, but we should be fine. Oh, did it miss? Oh, crap. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to be going after this one over here. Alright, guys. And, once again, guys, this one mission is not a requirement. It's one that's optional. But, it really does help. I've seen a big difference while doing these. And, uh, sneak the one I'm doing right now, the sneaky one, is probably the hardest to do. So, I really recommend trying to get all of these now there we go we only have one left we have, I, I think we'll be able to get it we have exactly one minute to get it and it's uh, I'm not sure guys it's my I don't know I'm not sure if we'll be able to do it Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to do it. Nah, it's too far away. Dang. We got close on getting all of them. But, trust me guys, that will be... It, that will help a lot. So yeah, I really recommend that. And if you have more people, do that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do since I'm right here... We're going to be buying a mask for the heist. So all you have to do not is go right here. Uh, all you have to do is go to his mask here. And you get pick your own set. I'm going to be going for the... I did Hunter last time. Uh, let's see. We're going for the Skull set. And wait, yep, and bam, now I got the masks, and yeah guys, so I think that's all I'm going to do for today, so this is part one of the Dime Casino Heist setup, I hope you all enjoy this video, if you guys want more GTA, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys all next time, bye.